How can something so small be so intimidating? <laughs> I'll leave you up here. All right. I realized there's a lot of things I want to tell my family. And there were a lot of things that I probably wish I would have said a long time ago. We're all gathered here today as a family because Dad has done something very special. He gave you all a message. All right, are we all ready? I'm so glad for this opportunity to see me as you see me. And I can tell you that I haven't been very happy with the things that I've seen. I guess the biggest question, you know, is what kind of dad do I want to be? All too often, I'm very quick to jump to conclusions or to allow myself to become angry. And I'm sorry. I love you, each of you. Kesley, how mature and responsible you are. And Kendall, I'm very proud of you. And I'm sorry for butting heads with you all the time. Marin, you're my little teddy bear. Landon, I hope that I will have done a good enough job that you will likewise be a good father to your own children. And to my little ones, Ainsley and Avery, you are two of the very best little girls in the whole world. And I'm so proud of how you are growing up. And I would like to tell my wife, I only hope that one day soon I can become that husband that you have always deserved. I love you all. Any thoughts on what Dad's had to say? Anybody want to comment anything? Yes, it's in my head. I remember how I walked. My dad gave a really, really, really good speech. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to cry during the video. Did you need to hear what he said? Yeah. It was quite an emotional moment for the whole family, but it was something I think we really needed to see, that he really does care. I think he did an absolutely fantastic job. These kids learnt today through example how they too can express their feelings and be okay with whatever emotion they're feeling because their dad did that today. You know, I've got to take my hat off to him. <laughs>